Mm, that, that should work. You use that. Right. So we're trying to move some of those cards, like 6,000 cards. I'm selling them in lots by players. Oh. Why they move? a way to package them so they don't get damaged. Let me see how, me see how you're doing it. Huh? Let me see how you're going to do it. Well, I don't have it ready yet, but I have 33 cards, like, for one auction I'm doing. And I have little team bags and put them in. Let me get a cardboard piece of paper, tape the team bags there. And get another piece of cardboard, put it on top, and then wrap tape around the cardboard. So the cards are within the cardboard so they don't bend, because I'm not putting them in any kind of holders. Oh, you're saying the regular envelopes? Yeah, the padded envelopes. Uh -huh. And when people send them in to get graded with Beckett, that's how they do it, but they have them in little card savers. Uh -huh. I got a little bunny out there. Hmm. 
a little water feature on the front area. We have a little bunny rabbit comes and visits. Just took the eyebrows and the nostrils before I jump to the next section. Now I'm not really done with the face. I'm going to apply the wash to it and see if I like the expression. If I don't like the expression, I will go ahead and redo this all over again as many times as it takes till I capture the right look and feel for the piece. As far as using tools, you use a tool whatever you think is going to help you move the clay around in the direction you need it to move. I literally have hundreds of sculpting tools and I always seem to be using a different tool for every piece I work on. Just like uh, certain guys like to collect a lot of uh, power tools, I like to collect a lot of sculpting tools. I guess it falls into the same arena. Ho hopefully, you guys could hear me. I'm kind of talking low. I'm just trying to concentrate on what I'm doing here. I don't know what side I like best. But the face is now much thinner than it was before. You kind of put the dog on a diet. But I still don't know if it's correct. But sometimes when you have too many images in front of you, doesn't make your job any easier because it just confuses you because you get too many options in front. Just like I was doing a, um, a piece for a client and I think she was in camp in Missouri and I was giving given too many images of the 